Hey friends, Rob here doing a response and review. Just seen one of the stars, young man Corey Monteith, uh, checks into rehab. And you know, my concern as a minister of the gospel, friends, I've seen so many young people addicted and overdosed on heroin here in New York in the United States. And I've buried some of them. <clears throat> Absolute tragic when you do the funeral of a young man in his 20s who has such a great destiny inheritance in front of him and a purpose in the plan and will of God was never fulfilled because of drugs. And you now I applaud this young man. I don't know what the substance abuse can be. It can be, you know, prescription medication, alcohol. I don't know. But I applaud him <clears throat> for reaching out saying, this is bigger than me. I can't break this. I need counseling. I need therapy. I need help. And that's really what it's about, friends. That's the way God comes into our life we have to humble ourselves and invite him because, you know, the Lord will never crash, knock, or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will. So God is not a party crasher. He comes by invitation only. So the reality is, is we control the doorknob to our heart. We control the key. We hold the key so we can keep the door closed due to disobedience or we can open the door due to obedience. But one thing I promise you is this. Once you open the door of your heart, just to crack to God, the Lord will come in with His great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness. <clears throat> Most of all, is irrevocable, unconditional love. And, you know, the Bible's very clear in the book of John. Third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world, that he gave as a gift his only son, that if you would believe and receive Christ, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And, you know, God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice. He wants us all to have that insurance and the assurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. And, you know, the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered, submitted to the Lordship of Jesus. And, Desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. And certainly my prayers are with this young man, Corey. I believe God bless him for doing the right thing, for reaching out. And, you know, there's a pressure when a star comes out and says, I'm struggling. They want to keep it, you know, under the hat, under the... The, the reality is he's coming abroad and he's saying, hey, I need help here. I'm humbling myself. I have an addiction. That's an awesome, awesome thing to do. And I believe God's going to bring this young man through this. Hey, if there's desire to see more ministry videos under the search, Rob would want to have many of the ministry videos where I do expound, talk about the Bible, Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed.